Love Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim GK, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of The Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of The Core Business Show, Tim Jacquet. Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Core Business Show. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Today, our topic is about eight ways to market your business on a shoestring budget. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 347-324-3460, 347-324-3460, or pose a question in the chat room, and I'll go ahead and try to answer it for you. Also, if you want to Twitter, you forward slash me hash line, Apple Capital, and I'll go ahead and read on the air and try to answer it. But to begin with, as startups and small business owners, we have to make the dollar stretch. Think we're like mom in the household. She has to stretch the dollar for cooking. She has to stretch the dollar for cleaning. So as a small business owner, as a startup or a small business, you have to stretch that dollar. And these are eight ways that you're going to be mom and you're going to try to stretch that dollar. So mom, which are you, the business, here are eight ways that you can do this to stretch your dollar to market your business on a shoestring budget. Before you begin, Kind of think of you have to have a website and a phone, okay? So these things will help you, but you're not going to be real successful if you don't have a website and you don't have a phone line. So you need to, you can have a phone line that goes straight to your cell phone, which is not a problem. Make sure you list it in the 800 directories and list it on Google Places and so forth. If Even if it's your home, yeah, if you rent a small box from the post office, make sure you have a physical address that people can mail correspondence to. I would say use UPS or some other mailbox to go type product that you can have physical location that you can place on Google Maps. So again, you got to have you need to have a website, you need to have a physical address, it can be your home if you're comfortable with that. And you need to have a business line so people can contact. So those are the preliminary things that you have to get done first. So here's the eight things that you will need. Number one, email marketing. The idea is real simple, but when you do emails, make sure you're not spamming people. Collect a list on your website. Use your friends and family. Ask them to suggest email addresses to you and put in an introduction. Hey, I'm emailing you on behalf of such and such because they think you might want this information. So again, email is a great start to build your email list and your portfolio. And that's number one. Again, email marketing is a 21st century thing. Keep that in mind. Number two, you want to create a newsletter. This newsletter don't really have to be out every single week. Once a month is sufficient. Every other month is sufficient. But make sure you have great content that has a one page to grab people's attention and you have links if they want more information about it. So you can create it on your own website or you can have someone to create something for you for your email newsletter. I'm going to backtrack to the email marketing. Again, you can get free trials from Constant Contact iContact.com and MailChimp. They're all really competitive and there's many other email marketing programs that you can use. But don't try to mail it out of your out of your mailbox because you might get spammed blocked. So you want to always use a server that does this professionally like contact and eye contact, MailChimp and let it go on their server. So you load email addresses to that address and let them take care of it for you. Number three, e-newsletter advertising. What about this is cool? This affordable trick. Find some email, some e-newsletters that you like and think will appeal to your customer and advertise in them, okay? It won't cost much. They have good circulation, but it's a great start and it don't really cost that much. So sometimes, you know, in my neighborhood, we have one that goes to every door in this subdivision. Subdivisions are usually a thousand people anyway, and it costs only fifty dollars a month, and they do it, you know, weekly. That's a great deal. Or sometimes it's twenty eight dollars a month, twenty five dollars a month. Start with that. That's a good option there for you. Also, pay per click. I'm going to be really cautious on pay per click. Use the free trial. 
when you have a website and again, you have Google, you have Facebook will give you a free trial, you know, free credit of $75, Yahoo, MSN, Bing would do the same thing. So take advantage of those free credits. Don't bid for the highest thing, bid for the things that's the lowest. Make sure when you set your cap, it's over. If it's a free trial, it's over. So you don't get charged for that continuously. They say, this is your monthly budget. Make sure you check at the end of the month or whatever that end of that term is so you don't get charged. So keep on top of that. It's called pay-per-click. The pay-per-click are the little ads that comes at the top of the search engine. So if you go on Google, it's the, it's the top portion that's highlighted so you know it's a sponsored link. And also, they're going to be put on the right-hand side as sponsored links. The, to get to that first page, again, it's going to cost you. So use your free trials for that. And I would say just don't do it all at one time. Do one month on Google, do one month on Bing, and so forth. Do it that way so you can stretch your dollar. So that's a smart tip as well. And on the third month, do Facebook. So again, hey, first month, Google. Second month, Bing. Third month, Facebook. Okay? Another thing you want to use is search engine optimizations. Make sure you optimize for your keyword. Keyword for your company, keyword for the business you're in. Okay? And put that every other, so for every, I would say, 15 words, make sure your keyword is like plumbing is there, okay, to help you out. So the next 15 words, plumbing. You're good in plumbing. You're expert in plumbing. You're this in plumbing. You're plumbing expertise. You know, just keep that way. Okay, number six, overnight spot, overnight radio spots are really inexpensive. Sometimes it's $10 a spot. Sometimes they have spots they're trying to give away. So just contact your local radio station and see what they have on the nighttime. So, you know, drive time spots are expensive. Don't try, you know, the midday or the morning drive or the people when they're driving home. Do the overnight spots. They're real expensive. Gallery Furniture in Houston started that way. They just use non-prime time ads to build their business. And now they're a $100 million business. Okay, and co-opting, advertising. Kind of think of that as uh, here's a someone sent me say, hey, my dad used to have a giant billboard on the San Diego freeway in Los Angeles. The words say carpet world, elegant underfoot. In the corner, it also said featuring Ben Long's carpets. Hey, you hear, see what it says? Ben Long paid for 80% of that advertising. Okay. So if you really look at carpet giant, I mean, carpet world is pretty big. And they have a, if you team up with another person, maybe you want to offset some of their advertising. So if that ad costs them $10,000 a month and you can shoot in maybe 500, a thousand to be a subtitle is worth it because they are paying for the bulk of it and you're an affiliate or a franchise of them helping them out. So kind of think of that as number seven. So here's a recap. Number one, email marketing. Uh, email marketing, don't use your Outlook, don't use your Yahoo. Go to Constant Contact to load those things in. Go to Eye Contact and go to MailChimp. Number two, create a email newsletter. Don't send it out every week, send it out every other month or so. Okay? Number three, email newsletter advertising. It's an affordable thing. You can team with somebody else and put your ads in part of their advertising. Number four, pay per click, which is the Google, the Facebook, the Bing. Don't do everything in one month. Stretch your dollar out and do it. Here's first month Google, second month Facebook, third month Bing. So you cover for three months. And they have like free credits for $75 for new accounts. Okay, overnight radio, you may can find 5 or $10 a spot. And number seven, co-op. Co-op with someone who is an established company, and you're going to just go ahead and advertise with them to offset some of the costs. You know, if they pay ten thousand dollars an ad, they're you know like Ford. You know, they don't mind putting this other franchise or something else if they're going to pay for ten percent of the cost. So eighty percent, ninety percent is already paid for. You just co-opting with them. Another tip is, I would say, for your social media platform, try to build your social media platform, meaning that you have a Facebook page, you have a Twitter page, you have a LinkedIn page to start off with. Those are all free. Stumble upon, dig, delicious, do those sites, doodle as well. Pinterest is another one. So type in social network directories and try to get in those directories. 
If you want to go to our website, you can go to our website, blog.applecapital. We have a list of all those directories, 100 directories. Those are free. Get yourself listed. That are free listings, and that will help build your brand and stuff because it's all about building a brand that's not costing you any money. Then, also, here's another tip. Go to friend, I mean, twins, T-W-I-N-D-S dot com and try to trade friends on Twitter. So they will list all the people who want to build a Twitter portfolio. If that's another tip, you might not have any Twitter friends, but you need a Twitter account and slowly build, trade your Twitter friends. That's mean you say, hey, I will friend you if you friend me. That's how it works. It's a trade off. So you might end up with uh, 500 Twitter friends because you friended them and they're going to friend you back. So that's how you can build no calls to you to build your Twitter friends. So when you have your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn friends, I would say go to American Express, Girl Buzz, and just go ahead and enter all that information in. And when you do that, it keeps track of all your information. It will say, hey, this is your, your total reach. And then here's your extended reach. Extended reach is mean people that's connected with people. And start building your portfolio there. On Facebook, just kind of build your own friends. Keep friending people and team with someone else to try to friend them as well. Also, join groups in LinkedIn. Join groups in Facebook and be interactive. Don't do five or ten groups. Join maybe two or three and make yourself known for a few months and trade off and do another group and so forth. So those are eight ways that you can kind of build your business, eight ways to market your business on a shoestring budget. If you have any questions of me, you feel free to give me a call. i um, give you our 800 number is 866-611-7457. My extension is 130, Tim JK. Again, 866-611-7457. Or my direct number is 214-224-0995. Be more than happy to answer any questions. And if you're looking for any equipment financing or looking for a fact, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you, guide you in that process. So again, this is Tim J.K. with The Core Business Show. This episode can be downloaded on iTunes or a plot feed or on Blog Talk Radio or on our blog website. Again, Tim J.K., have a great day. And again, this is 8 Ways to Market Your Business on a Shoestring Budget. Next show coming up is Crowdfunding. You want to listen to that? That's how to get your foot on the ground to look at getting financing from investors for your business. I look forward to talking to you in the next 15 minutes. Again, if not, look for the show. It's going to be called The Power of Crowd. It's crowdsourcing right for your small business. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. This is Tim Jacquet with The Core Business Show. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For more information about equipment financing and asset-based loans, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. Or call us at 866-611-7457. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to the core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. And thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.